So, I'm doing a review on the lure lock boxes. I got the medium size. They were the perfect dimensions for what the box that I won um, from Pacifican. Pacifan? Pacifan? Pacifican. One of those. Um, and uh, they fit really well in the bag already. I've already done that. I've already pulled one box. But I love the concept of being able to uh, open it up, have freedom to be able to mix and match and see how I please with these little clips. Um, which, and I'll show you guys a feature of those clips, which is awesome for, in just a minute. But having the ability to stick certain things on the box and have that resistance so it keeps them 100% still and easy to pick up all the time is pretty awesome. Uh, the one thing about the Pacific Sun boxes is they're double sided, so it came with, I can put lures here, I can put lures here, but the only issue is that they're in these little channels, so like hooks and um, bait keepers and um, what's the other one? Uh, slipknot, or not slipknots, what are they called? Bobber stops. Uh, go in here and they just get lost and I have to like literally dump it out in order to get things out of the crevices of these um, so that was an issue that I had with the boxes immediately love the bag um, they all had there was a little black straps connected to these that I removed so that they would fit better in the bag themselves uh, the only issue or well it's not really an issue because I can just cut it off but the lure lock boxes have these retail tags that ju they just hang and it even says remove on it. Um, I like to take a fillet knife and get super close right up to the edge so that it fits flush without, because like if you get stick or take scissors to it, it'll actually leave a little edge which will catch on the bag, potentially tearing your bag. So I like to just cut as close as I can to the edge of the tackle box. How awesome is that? It's the Tacologic technology from Lure Lock. Super stoked about this. Just keeps your baits perfectly in your box. It's pretty awesome. One awesome thing feature that I do love about these is they're free flowing on um, the keepers, so they're all kind of just easily moldable if I need to fold them up close to at least, at least to give my box a little bit more space, I can do that so they're not just straight lining the entire way. Um, and the coolest feature that I think about these guys is if you know anything about the ones that you normally get in like a, say your Plano, typical Plano boxes, all these plastic little pieces in between are 100% fixed, so you actually have to cut it with scissors and then cut that little chunk off as well. The cool thing with these is that they literally just snap off. So it's 100% easy. Even this little piece here, and it comes off 100% super clean. Toss that little bit in the recycling. Make sure you're not throwing your plastics anywhere outside of the trash or, or your recycling. And that's it. I mean, this is so convenient to be able to just snap these off every single one of them to just snap it off it's perfect every time too it's so easy oh that's just beautiful and then i can just put them in there just how i please it's awesome so this is how the boxes that came with the bag fit into the bag Obviously, it's full to the brim. There's not really an excess amount of space, barely. Um, and let's see how the lure lock boxes fit in this bag instead of the boxes that came with it.
so it's hard to see from this angle, but there is a full-blown hand worth of space in there, which means I could put more soft plastics, more um, crankbaits still in the package, or anything uh, sandwich, peanut butter and jelly. Heck yeah, it's a little lunch bag there. So, so far, the little bit lock boxes fit in here perfectly. Let's see how it zips. Yep, no issues. Yes! Alright, feeling a lot better. Finally organized. My trays with some random plastics. Everything's good to go in there. And... Finally organized my plastics. Flukes and tubes, some stick baits in there, uh, random lures, pliers, line, fly, fly stuff, and all my creature baits, which is about to blow. Jig strikes first. Nice. That's the first time I've caught one on a swim jig. That's awesome. Oh no. <laughs> Two in a row! <laughs> Dang it. Found something. Apparently I missed it, but caught this little slab on the frog. I found this frog. I'm not really sure what company it's from, but man, look at that beautiful fish. My gosh, big old mouth. Whoa! Woohoo! There she goes. And she got me. <sighs> Holy crap. Can't believe I caught a frog. 
caught a frogfish out of this pond. That's just, that's just weird. It seems weird. For this pond, particularly, it seems weird. I don't know. I'm not sure why. But, hey, there's a clearing right there. That's where he bit it. That was kind of crazy. Oh, there went another one. <laughs> but he missed it. Had this much luck at this pond all year. Yes. He just jumped in front of the frog. Like, it was like he was going for my line. Hanging out. 